like a harmless bumblebee sniffing around for nectar. But this is a nasty parasite that has spent its early life feeding and crawling under human skin. The human botfly lives in the moist, lush parts of South and Central America. And you don't need to run into one to be infested by its larvae. But if you do become the unfortunate victim of a botfly infestation, do you know the best way to get rid of them? Should you A, heat the affected area, B, squeeze them out, C, cover the wound with bacon grease? Stay tuned and we'll reveal the best way to deal with these horrible parasites. The human botfly is one of 160 botfly species. Other types of botflies might prefer the warm, live flesh of other mammals like horses, sheep, or mice, but you have just the human botfly to worry about. You'll never find a human botfly waiting for you in the tall grass. Instead, they spend their time catching blood-sucking mosquitoes, flies, or ticks, and not for a savory snack. Adult botflies don't have functional mouths and can't eat or drink. They have 9 to 12 days to find a mate and reproduce before they die of starvation. Females also need to ensure the survival of the egg they will leave behind. And that's why hijacking mosquitoes comes in handy. After laying her eggs, a female captures a mosquito, flips it over, and attaches 50 to 100 eggs to its underside. She makes a special glue for this. Then all she needs to do is release the mosquito, wait, and watch. The botfly's elaborate plan is ready to hatch. <laughs> botfly eggs have a heat detection system. They know when the mosquito is about to bite its next victim. And when that happens, the eggs hatch and the larvae enter your skin through the bite wound. An existing cut or hair follicle could also let a botfly get into your body. Exposed parts of your body, like the chest, arms, head, and legs, are the most likely infestation sites. Then the larva gets to work. Fang-like mouthparts help it chew and burrow its way into your skin. The larva creates a wound tunnel, and a tiny barb-like hook on the larva's throat latches to the tunnel's walls. In time, as the larva gets fat, the hook will help create more room by scraping off more of your tissue to widen the tunnel. Your body responds to this mayhem by sending white blood cells. You might have noticed that healing wounds tend to weep a clear fluid. This fluid is called exudate and contains leukocytes and blood plasma. Mixed in with some local dead cells, this is what the larva eats for up to three months and it keeps burrowing to trigger your body into sending its next meal. But since it's busy feeding, the parasite needs to make alternate arrangements to get air and stay alive. It easily solves that problem using the breathing tubes called spiracles on its rear end. It leaves them sticking out of the mouth of the wound. So yeah, the botfly is a butt breather. As the larva grows, the infestation site can get hard and slightly painful to the host. But the worst part is that you might be able to feel the bug moving under your skin. Gross! If left untreated, the larva will eventually pupate and simply drop off your wound. It needs to sink itself deep into soil for the next leg of its life cycle. But how could you harbor this horrific critter under your skin and not die? The botfly has it all figured out. It needs you in reasonably good health to keep providing food. It secretes a natural antibacterial substance from its mouth parts so you won't get a lethal bacterial infection. Aw, oh, well that's nice. But having a growing botfly in your body is still pretty gross and uncomfortable, and you might want to try to remove it. The best method starts by cutting off its air supply. So slather the wound surface with something like petroleum jelly or even bacon grease. This forces the larva to ease its grip, and then it's easier to pull out. Too bad there's no use for the human botfly larva once it's removed. Reindeer botfly larvae, on the other hand, is a popular delicacy among the Inuit people. And if you think that's gross, we've put together a list of the most horrifying parasites. Just for you. Check it out here on Crazy Creatures.